What's up, y'all? It's Disaster. We on B-Shine right now, you know what I'm saying? Out here in California, San Fernando Valley. What inspires me to battle is people saying that they're the best or they want to be the best but not wanting to battle me, you know what I'm saying? It inspires me when I hear that shit. It inspires me to make me want to fucking rip them apart. When I see a challenge, a real fucking challenge, that shit inspires me. I'm inspired by a lot of fucking different things. I'm inspired every time I see someone that don't have no fucking money to eat. I'm inspired every time I fucking see somebody just starting to fucking rap, saying they have a fucking dream like I fucking did, like fucking eight, nine years ago when I told myself I wanted to be known as one of the best battlers in the fucking world and I didn't even know how to spit a word of rap, you know what I mean? It inspires me knowing people that could believe in themselves and just believing in yourself, you know what I mean? You could do whatever the fuck you want, you know what I mean? I'm inspired by the fact that I could like impact people's lives fucking 6,000 miles away from home across the world when I travel to other countries like Holland and Sweden and England, you know what I mean? I got people out there that are like my family that already know about my life, people that are waiting for my shit, fans that tell me they fucking love me every day that fucking look up to me. That shit is inspiring as fuck. Those are the type of people that make me want to do what I'm fucking doing right now for forever, you know what I'm saying? And it's just the most beautiful feeling ever. Another thing that inspires me knowing huge celebrities, you know what I mean? I don't gotta drop names, but like hundreds and hundreds of the biggest celebrities you know that fucking give us props wherever we go, you know what I'm saying? Getting props from the most respected MCs and producers in the world is the most inspiring thing ever. Growing up listening to those cats and not ever thinking that you would ever come in contact with them and one day they're hitting you up, you know what I mean? They're telling you how dope you are when you can't even probably quote one of their words anymore because you forgot, because you grew up listening to that shit. That's some fucking inspirational shit, you know what I mean? Like recently some of the most things that have expired, inspired me are the are the people that have like reached out to me and told me that I was dope. You know, I chopped it up with the alchemist at the um at the pay dues and just how much he knows about the shit and how the the respect he has, like that shit's amazing to me, you know what I mean? Cats like Chino XL, like that I've always thought are the fucking dope like one of the dopest lyricists of all time, you know what I mean, regardless how anybody wants to look at him. And I'm a huge fucking Pac fan, and Pac and Chino were be beefing, you know what I mean? But that shit ain't shit to me, because, like, you know, the fact when I chopped it up with Chino XL and him just, like, you know, being so supportive of that shit, like, that shit made me want to, like, the next day write, like, a fucking 16, you know what I mean? And just fucking just ether somebody for no reason, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just lets me know that what we're doing is right, you know what I mean? We just got to be more patient, you know, to see a lot more, you know what I mean? Like you know, like money from it, you know what I'm saying? Like, to where you can make a living like anybody else would if they're fucking, you know, like doing what they do, you know, like if it's a, a, a painter. Biggest challenge I've been able to overcome so far is, is realizing that you can't please everybody, you know what I mean? In the beginning, it just was like the fucking harder shit for me, like, you know what I mean? Like when I first came out, I was just, you know, I battled the world rap champion at the time and I won, you know what I mean? So I had to deal with a lot of hate, you know what I mean? A lot of fucking shit. And then I had like the one of the most infamous chokes of all time, you know what I mean? But it's like, whatever, it's the best people choke. You know, Eminem's choked before, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, overcoming that shit, first of all, was like the craziest shit ever. I bounced back from that and it was just like, Getting to the point where, you know what I mean, like, you let a lot of the shit fuck with you because as much love as you get, you know, there's people trying to take you down. And, like, I got to a point now where it's just the love outweighs it, you know what I mean? And it's like I, I learned how to just, like, accept the hate and the negativity as a constructive criticism and just people that don't believe in me yet, you know what I mean? I don't X them out. It's like being, if you a salesperson, if you know anything about sales, you understand that no doesn't mean no. No only means no so many times before it becomes a yes. Don't use that shit with bitches because you're going to catch a rape charge. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as, like, just, you got to sell yourself to people. You know what I mean? Like, you got to sell what you got, your product. You know what I mean? And, like, if they say no the first time you're whack, that don't mean it's over. You know what I mean? That don't mean they ain't going to buy it. You know what I mean? You just got to keep going until you convince them. Like, selling somebody a car, being in sales, like I said. I turned a lot of non-believers around. That was probably the biggest challenge. Having some of my biggest haters on the internet, you know what I mean? turn around and be like, I'm sorry, mm. that shit. And that shit's also inspirational. I haven't been able to like, you know what I mean, like put out like my music the way I've been wanting to do because I've been like searching for a special way to like present myself because I want people to remember me as the person that like, that like spoke the truth, you know what I mean? I want to wake everybody up to like what's going on. I've just been hiding everything right now, but like I'm gonna let it all out and people are gonna hear it one day, you know what I mean? 
I want to fucking use hip hop to change everything that's going on, you know what I mean? Because I really believe we could do it. Hip hop is the most powerful form of music and communication on earth. And that's why a lot of negative forces are involved in the rap game and have come crumbled the industry because they know it's the fucking strongest form to manipulate people and reach out your voice. There's nothing stronger than rap. You could actually become just as big as the biggest leader in the world through fucking rap, which was, in my opinion, what where Pac was heading. That's why he got executed, you know what I'm saying? Like, Pac didn't get killed by gang members or East Coast, West Coast shit. That shit was all some bullshit, you know what I mean? And motherfuckers that know, know. And that's the mind state I want to put out, like the truth. Like, they gonna know at the end that I wasn't one of those blind kids and I was just pulling y'all in slowly and at the end, BAM! You gonna hear the fucking truth and then you gonna respect me and then you gonna learn to love me and when I'm gone, you gonna remember me. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, there's things that are never, never meant to change, but, like, there's a lot of people that don't deserve to live the way they live. They don't deserve to be slaves to the world that we're in. You could be a free soul, you know what I mean? And I want people to learn that you got to educate yourself and go back to how it was back in the days. Have your own farm. I know this sounds crazy as fuck, but this is the reality of it. You're going to have to have your own farm and learn to make your own firearms, learn to make your own clean water. Learn to fucking study your own knowledge and don't fucking listen to everything you're told, you know what I mean? Learn to fucking, you know what I mean, to, to, to block out the three main things that control our lives, which is curriculum, law, and religion. Those those three things need to be fucking completely wiped the fuck out. And the, the more we could avoid those three things and live free from them, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it is the closer we get to being complete humans and ascending to another level, you know what I mean? Where we're right now stuck in the bottom le fucking level because we're all sheep, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's only a matter of time before, like, everybody's waking the fuck up, you know what I mean? I just think that they need a voice that actually entertains them, that they love in a different way, and then they need to hear it from that person. You can't really drive this shit into people's faces. There's a lot of rappers out there that try to drive info like that into people's heads, and then you become like a preacher, and nobody wants to fucking hear it, and you get fucking blackballed and moved to the side. We ain't trying to do that. You definitely expect some music from me. I, I'm definitely gonna be putting out some stuff. I just get caught up in like what I'm doing right now, my lifestyle. I don't really, you know what I mean? I don't really have time for it, and I don't really need it right now, you know what I mean? Like. I have everybody's attention once I do drop something really good, you know what I mean? It's going to be the same impact whether I've been doing it now or not. I think I'm just saving my time right now because that requires a lot of attention and a lot of focus, you know what I mean, and hours in the studio and, you know, doing shows and all kinds of stuff. So when I get to that point, I'm going to be very ready. Expect, like, me singing, producing, and rapping on all my shit, and it's going to be hard shit. It ain't going to be fucking no weak shit, you know what I mean? Like, trust me, that's why it's taking so long for me to put shit out, you know what I mean? Like, because... I'm gonna do it the right way, you know what I mean? I know battle rappers have this, you know what I mean, this fucking title on them that we can't fucking make tracks, but it's not true. There's a lot of dope battlers and I'm, that make music, and I'm definitely one of them. I just haven't proved it yet, which is another fucking challenge I'm gonna have to overcome, and it ain't a thing, you know what I mean? It's just like battling for me. When I first started, I didn't know how to put together a battle line. I didn't, I couldn't put a punchline together for the life of me, you know what I mean? And now look where I'm at, so.